Hello and welcome to my science tutorials. In today's video, we want to look at the Wyeck Federal Mathematics Past Questions and Answers, or we'll be looking at the SSE 1999 question number 2B. Alright, so the SSE 1999 question number 2B, we're given this expression and we have to simplify the expression. So let's proceed to look at the solution to this problem. So we have root 8 plus 5 root 32 minus 4 root 50 all on 1 plus root 18. Now, normally when we have uh, expressions like this where we have root sign or radicals set at the top and bottom, we normally multiply by the conjugate which is changing the sign over here using it to multiply the top and then the down. Now that is the normal approach but if you use that approach here you realize that you have a lot of root sign at the top more than two so it's three so if you do that it will make your work a little bit difficult very difficult you have to do a lot of calculation so why don't we ease things for ourselves we ease things for ourselves by breaking down the top that we have let's break it down to have a simpler expressions for us to actually simplify so i have here root eight what number multiplied by a perfect root will give me root 8? Okay, what is the perfect root, the nearest perfect root close to 8? That will be 4. So it means here I can write 2 multiplied by 4 plus 2 multiplied by 4 will give me 8. So it's root 8. I've not done anything to the equation. So I maintain my 5 here. Then the root sign. Which perfect root will I multiply by a number that will give me 36? So that will be 16. So it is 2 multiplied by 16 will give me 36. So I've still not done anything to the expression. So minus the 4 over here. Now which perfect root will I multiply by another number to give me 50? That will be 2 multiplied by 25. All on 1 plus. The same thing we will do over here. Which perfect root will I multiply by a number to give me 18? And that will be 9 so it become 2 multiplied by 9 now this is equal to now the root of 2 multiplied by 8 is like root 2 times root 4 and let me use that so this is equal to root 2 times root 4 and then root 4 over here is 2 so it becomes root 2 multiplied by 2 which is equal to what 2 root 2 so rather than writing this one by one, I will go straight ahead and be writing their final expression over here. Okay, so let me erase this. So the root of 4 is 2, so that 2 will come outside and come and multiply the root 2 that is left. Then plus the 5 over here is there. Then root 16 will give me 4, so it, the 4 will come outside. Then all is left is root 2. Then we have here minus this 4 is over here. Then I open another bracket. Root 25 is 5. So the 5 will come outside. And we'll now multiply root 2. All over 1 plus root 9 will give me 3. So that 3 will come outside and come and multiply the root 2 that is left. So from here, I have over here 2 root 2 plus 5 multiplied by 4 will give me 20 root 2 minus 4 multiplied by 5 will also give me another 20 root 2 all over 1 plus 3 root 2 now if you look at this expression really well we have 20 root 2 minus 20 root 2 so this will cancel this or it becomes 0 so from here we have our expression to be equal to 2 root 2 on 1 plus 3 root 2. Now, this is very easy. We only have one root sign at the top. We can now go ahead and multiply both the numerator and then the denominator by the conjugate of this expression. So, if we do that, the conjugate of 1 plus 3 root 2 is 1 minus 3 root 2. We only change the sign. So, we have here 1 minus 3 root 2 over 1 minus 3 root 2. So this is equal to 2 root 2 
multiplied by 1 minus 3 root 2 all over yeah this one into bracket 1 minus 3 root 2 plus 3 root 2 this second guy into bracket 1 minus 3 root 2 all right so this is equal to i will be doing that on the next slide so the expression i had over there i have 2 root 2 multiplied by okay so that is equal to 2 root 2 i'm just writing what i wrote previously minus 1 1 minus 3 root 2 on 1 into bracket 1 minus 3 root 2 plus 3 root 2 into bracket 1 minus 3 root 2 okay so this is equal to 2 root 2 multiplied by 1 will give me 2 root 2 then the minus sign is here 2 root 2 multiplied by 3 root 2 the 2 multiplied by the 3 will give me 6 root 2 multiplied by root 2 will give me 2 over 1 multiplied by 1 is 1 1 multiplied by 3 root 2 will give me negative 3 root 2 plus 3 multiplied 3 root 2 multiplied by 1 will give me 3 root 2 then I have 3 root 2 multiplied by negative 3 root 2 that will give me negative 3 times 3 will give me 9 root 2 times root 2 will give me 2 so this is equal to 3 minus 3 root 2 plus 3 root 2 will give me 0 so I have over here at the top 2 root 2 minus 6 times 2 is 12 divided by I have the 1 over here this guy cancel this guy so i have minus 9 multiplied by 2 that will give me 18. so this is now equal to 2 root 2 minus 12 over 1 minus 18 will give me minus 17. okay so from here if i multiply through by negative to rearrange everything over here i'm going to have the 12 which is negative will not come first because to become positive then minus 2 root 2 and then the negative goes away from here it becomes 17 okay that is um multiplying through by negative so the negative will not be at the bottom over here okay so this is equal to you can rewrite this as 12 over 17 minus 2 over 17 root 2 so this becomes our answer for the expression we are to simplify now if you look at it really well you realize that because the expression we're given is too big for us to go straight ahead by using the conjugate to multiply both the top and down over here we have to break it down to a much simpler form which is what we have over here now this is now very simple for us to now just use the conjugate this is the conjugate to now use the conjugate to multiply and then factorize and simplify our expression so this is our answer for that particular question so thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next video bye bye